Hey y'all, we back here in the video. Excuse my hair. I gotta redo this. Mm, struggle is real, okay? Uh, definitely see it on above me, but who give a fuck? We here to make strudels? No. It's a Spanish dish. Let me get my um, information right. We here to make mm, homemade strudels. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> There we go. It's a Mexican dish, a Spanish dish. Churros. There we go. Churros. Shit. I said, I call them strudels. Okay, churros. We had to make homemade churros. Okay, so bear with a girl. So, this is everything you need for the churros. If I'm saying it right, yep, churros. A Mexican treat. Uh, something I can make real quick. Need something sweet to eat. So, this will be on make. Um, I'll put the link in the bio because I'm going to show how everything going to be in this pot. So, let's let's get it. Yeah, this is exactly how you want it nice and boiled. We're going to add the flour. You need two-thirds of flour. And mix it slowly until it adds to a dough. Okay? okay? At this point, it should look like this. All lumpy and gumpy. This is like... You gotta let it cool. You said let it cool for like two or three minutes and then add an egg. I think probably one. Yeah, one or two eggs. And then that's gonna be your trio. Trio. <laughs> Y'all gonna know about the title. Okay. <laughs> Alright, it's cooling down. I know you hear my instrument in the back, but it's cooling down. I'm about to add my one egg in here. And this gonna be our dough, okay? For the two, two rows. Yeah, two rows. There we go. So our one egg, we're going to blend as well with the one egg. All right, got gotcha. you. Oh, my God. Okay, this is the final result. All the eggs should be fully reserved, and they only need one. It should be mixed. It should look like this. I'm going to let it cool down because it's too hot to try to put it in a piping bag. And my version of a piping bag is a Ziploc bag. You can use a regular, um, like, CVS bag. It's just easy to pipe it out to make it look like, you know, a Jero. So we're going to let this cool down enough in the fridge and then I can pipe it out into the fryer. Boom. Ooh, excuse my hair. I don't even know why I turned around. But y'all will get the final result of everything. At the end, you need to add some um, cinnamon and sugar. Um, roll it up in cinnamon and sugar. So, yes. I'm going to go edit this video. You're going to probably get two more out of me later this week. And y'all probably one now because right now I'm making some iced tea. So I'll show you how I make my iced tea, but yeah. I couldn't help but notice your pain. My pain? It runs deep. Share it with me.